All right, everybody, welcome to the next game I'll be checking out. It's going to be Demon Souls for the PS5. We got the remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it. And that's what we'll be checking out today in this hectic season of new game releases, new console releases. As you can tell, I managed to get a PS5. Uh, thankfully, because someone else helped me out a ton, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get one myself. I stayed up quite a bit the other day once um, some of the new stock got into some of the online stores and wasn't wasn't quite able to get one on my own but uh very very luckily and fortunately for me somebody did manage to help me out with that so i'll be checking out some ps5 stuff and the the one game that i wanted to jump into pretty much right away was going to be demon souls i jumped into a game and and wandered around and did a little bit of audio testing uh before i started recording so that's why we've got to continue in a load but we'll start up a new game uh, once I actually get into the game, I'll probably talk more about some opinions and experiences with Demon Souls, but I don't really want to sit for too long on this intro screen talking about it when I can talk about it when I'm wandering around the tutorial. So we'll go with Type B. Nice Type B body. We are Special Agent Sheamus. Recently, recently promoted to CIA. If you've been watching the call, the Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Cold War campaign, CIA agent C Moose is here. Uh, we'll worry about some of this class starting stuff in a little bit. Let's check out some of this stuff. Okay, we got some like I got. I'm pretty sure this like this changes depending on your class. So if you pick like a different class, I think you you can make yourself look a little bit differently. Oh, these are animations. Yeah, oh, that looks pretty cool. That This, like, Type A looks really cool for whatever this class is, so... Looks like you can get a little bit of a different cosmetic going on if you swap between this, but I don't, I don't even know what class I really want to be right now, so... I guess we'll go with appearance first. I'm pretty bad at making characters, so I'll probably just go with, like, a preset and uh, look through some of this stuff, see what's going on. Also, it'll make it'll make character creation a little bit faster, and I would like to jump into the game and play it. We've got a we we have a like a really sad looking purple guy. He's like, please don't make me play this game. I think we're gonna make him play the game. Uh, quite a variety of of characters. The characters look much better than they did in the original Demon Souls, which probably doesn't even need to be said. The original game came out like what. 2009 or something on the ps3 so it's the game is at least over 10 years old i'm pretty sure about that or at least the original game was and the original game looks pretty dated by now so this this is a, a huge step in a better direction everything just looks much better so we'll we'll pick the sad looking purple guy who definitely doesn't want to be playing the game and we'll make him play the game because you know that's just life Of course, of course, if you do like making characters, there's lots of different options and stuff here. That looks pretty terrifying. Lots of different options for you here. Maybe, maybe I'll, ooh, we can get some, like, flame, we got some, like, flame face going here. There we go. Maybe he'll be a little bit happier with that. And, of course, he's scarred up because he's, he's playing Demon Souls, so. He's going to be getting a little bit messed up. So, I guess, I guess we'll change him a little bit. Do I want him to have, we can make him, we can make him have a beard. Against his will. We can make him have hair. I, he has green hair. This character comes with, like, green hair as a standard. Interesting. We'll leave him We'll leave him bald. Or mostly bald, I guess. Very, very short hair. And I guess that's probably... Wow, look at that. That kind, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I, I actually don't know if I do. Kind of like... Here, let me just, like... We'll just go with default. He's a little... He's still scarred up, but I don't know. I don't know if I want that, like, bright red-orange sticking out of my... Out of my helmet. He is a little scarred up. He's a little battle damaged. A little bit battle-worn. And I guess we'll go to starting gifts. What we got? We got none starting gift, which would be great. We've got this thing. Stone that radiates a, radiates a guiding light. Uh, recovers some of the user's HP over time. Healing item temporarily increases rate of stamina recovery. Recovers some MP. A ring that raises item discovery. Poison throwing weapon. We got fire bombs. We got soul remains. Serves as bait for the soul starved. Not exactly sure what that does. Maybe it's like a decoy item. 
Apparently, you get 10 of them. I'm not exactly sure what that does. And we got some fire arrows, so... I also have this, like, deluxe items bundle, because I bought the, the deluxe edition. I don't know if I'm going to be using them. Apparently, Stockpile Thomas has those items. So I don't know if I'm going to be using them. Probably gives you a nice boost for the beginning of the game. Kind of kind of makes things a little bit easier. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one for me, but maybe maybe I don't know. Might check it out for a little bit. Uh, but none of none of these starting items really kind of pop out to me. I kind of feel like I want the ring maybe for some initial item discovery. That could also help later on if I if I want to try to get drops from something. But I don't I don't even know how many rings you can wear in the game. You might be only able to wear like one or two of them. So this would probably get replaced pretty quick if I can only wear one. Depending on how the game is now. Like, I don't know how much they've changed about the balance of the game. And the only other thing would be this. Some, some extra healing. That might be a little bit nice. And I'm going to go with the ring. And now we have classes. So Seems to give you a couple, couple melee classes here at the top. And then it goes into a couple magic classes. And then it goes kind of back into maybe some some more melee classes. Seems like a dex heavy, dex heavy class. Dex and luck, high dex, high luck. Uh, I don't I don't remember luck being like super good in the original game, but maybe I'm wrong. We got a barbarian. Ooh, high health, pretty solid and good endurance and strength. No dex. I don't know what kind of weapon. I usually don't like strength weapons. Usually, usually strength weapons are a little bit, like, heavier and stuff. I usually like some of the lighter, like, swords and whatnot. We also have royalty, which is, I guess, like a, a dexterity magic kind of combo going on. Temple Knight, good strength, some solid dex, good endurance, health is okay. Faith, I don't really want faith, though. I kind of like playing melee, melee characters, so I'm kind of leaning towards, like, Barbarian, but, like, I, I don't really like strength weapons in a lot of the games, I feel like. So maybe something like Soldier. Soldier's kind of a mix of, like, strength and dex. Of course, you can always build characters however you want, but picking a good starting class will help you kind of on your way, so I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn here. Can I go with, like, none? None class just go in as, like, what is it, depraved or deprived? I can't remember what it, what the the class is in some of the other Dark Souls games. I thought there was, like, a class like that in this game, but I maybe not. Guess I'm wrong. Knight would be kind of good, too, but it's, it's probably going to be a little bit heavier. So maybe I'll just go with Soldier and then just kind of pick a direction I want to go. I feel like if I were to play the game again, I would probably try Barbarian, but I think I'm just going to pick kind of like... We'll just we'll just go with Soldier for now. We got some animations here. I kind of I kind of like the arms spread out a little bit more. Like, it mostly seems to be like how the shoulders slash arms are when you walk. Kind of like B a little bit more. Then we've got... We've got these two. I kind of like B again. I kind of like the little eye hole that I, I'm just like looking out so we'll go with this if I ever decide to play this game again for some reason uh maybe I'll oop, I don't want to do that maybe I'll go with like barbarian or like a magic class eventually but I don't know I'm just not the I'm not the biggest fan of of stuff like that so we'll finalize jump into it I don't know how Alant the twelfth by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. I guess that I'll let is, this play out first. Until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in 
unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land, but none have returned. Bior of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight Garl Vinland. Do you fuck Garl, by and the way? Sage Freak, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Would I like to play the journey? Yes, I'd like to play the journey. Hit me with a tutorial. This is a tutorial only playthrough. I will only be playing the tutorial over and over again. It'll be like ground. Who fears not death. Hold on. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Wow, oh, that's really bright. That's even brighter. All right, we made it out. Oh, we got like a phantom already here. He, he just like spawned in and just started like attacking. He's like, how does this work? All right, well, as I was going to say, we're just going to play the tutorial over and over again. And it's going to be like Groundhog Day, except it's going to suck way, 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 way more than Groundhog Day. We got standard attack, so generally we got a little tutorial area here. I guess you can skip it. I don't think I got the option to skip it the first time booting up the game, but every time after that, I think I got a nice option. Also, I guess, this guy, like, doesn't even try to attack you. He just kind of, like, wanders around looking at you. So I need to, like, adjust my headphones. The game looks extremely good compared to the original game. It also feels pretty good. Uh, the PS5 controller feels very, I would say, very good. It's got, like, some nice weight to it. It's pretty solid. I feel like the the vibration is pretty good. I feel like it has pretty good feedback. Fortunately, unfortunately, my roll's a little, a little slow here, so probably gonna have to raise my equip load, slash find some lighter gear. But overall, the game's good. The frame rate is like really good. It looks good. My purple eyes glowing from out of my helmet. I'm looking good. Everything's looking good. We've just got some more tutorial messages. A nice phantom running out of there. I feel like that's like a scripted phantom to run out of there. Like, every time I sh I've shown up here trying to do audio tests, that one phantom just, like, runs out and runs around. But in regards to my experiences with Demon's Souls, I don't I don't have the most experience with the game. It's, pro it's probably one of my lesser played Souls games along with Dark Souls 2. And uh, maybe this remake remaster will change that. Maybe I'll want to play it a little bit more. But every so often I played Demon Souls. It was pretty rare. I think the last time I played the game was when the PS3 servers were going down some, some amount of years ago. I would say like two years ago maybe or so. 
it's when those servers went down, so I jumped on and played a little bit more then. I think I did a couple, couple like, playthroughs on my own. I think I did a, a melee run, and I think I did a magic run. And the magic run was, like, way easier than the melee run. I'm pretty sure magic was, like, really strong in, in the original game. And I'm not much, I'm not much of a, of a magic person myself, but... It went pretty well, but that's probably the last time I played it. I don't I don't really have the best plans and stuff. I don't really remember a whole ton about the game. But we'll we'll figure it out as they as we go along. And I don't know what, if anything, they've changed about all of this stuff, so. It's gonna it's gonna be a fun adventure for sure. I remember when I first tried to play the game. I tried to play it like, man, it had to have been like 2009 or 2010 when the game was more so kind of newer. And I was I was much, much worse at games back then, especially the Soul series. Like, I had, I had no clue what I was doing in the game. And I think I only made it to like 1-2 before I just gave up back then. Like, I was like, this is way too difficult for me. Um, I was pretty terrible. I don't think I was even using lock-on. Like, I kept getting killed by dogs in 1-2, I think, and other things, like the dragon that flies around and kind of beats your ass. Uh, it just wasn't good. And uh, <laughs> I was like, man, this game is, like, tough. It's really tough. But I, I think I think I've improved over the years and, and gotten better. And while I may not always be the best and I may not always play well... I have at least improved a lot since, you know, many, many years ago. But my, my first experience, I think my first Souls experience was the original Demon Souls, and I just really did not do very good. It, it was a rough outing. That is for sure. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit better. We can parry nice. Probably won't be... Nah, I'm not the best at parrying, so, you know, you might not see too many parries, but... We, we can give it a go. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm better at parrying in, like, Dark Souls 1 than Demon Souls. Oh, man. I'm always, like, a little too late. Let me parry you. There we go. Oh, that was pretty cool. It's got, like, a really sick animation on that. Unfortunately, I am not the parry master. Even though I parried him in one attempt. <laughs> Look, the exception is not the standard, alright? Now we can two-hand our weapon. Ooh, there we go again. Lucky twice in a row. That's what I'm going with. I'll switch. Yeah, we can, like, swap, swap stuff around. Oh, I have a spear on me? What is this? I didn't even know I had a spear. Apparently, I just, like... Oh, you can, like, aim... If you have your camera pointing down, he he attacks down. But if you have it pointing up, he attacks more so up. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't think that's how things are in some of the other games. That or I've been, like... I've really been dropping the ball in, in my Dark Souls playthrough. Because I'm using a spear. I was using a spear in that. And, like, you only attack straight, it feels like, with the spear. Also, I'm probably going to get rid of this spear for now. Do I roll any faster? I don't... I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. I think having a second weapon kind of equipped will increase my weight. I'm not exactly sure how it works in this game. Can I, like, hop over this? Let me hop over this and fall off and die. Yeah, I kind I kind of get the feeling this roll like this roll's not very good right now. So I'm definitely gonna have to like lighten up my equip load. So I got a nice little faster roll. Ooh, another parry! Hell yeah! Get the hell out of here! I don't know if that animation's ever going to get old. It's like a really cool animation. Wait, who's trying to come through the fog wall? Really? Get the hell out of here. 
Why don't you wait your turn, damn it? Also, I don't think there's a jump in this game. I don't know if they added it. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't I don't really think there was a jump in the original game, and I don't I don't think there's one in this one either. Alright, what we got? Oh, I can examine the corpse. I didn't even know he had loot on him. Oh, we got this nice fog wall. Yeah, that that one enemy had to have like heard me attack the other guy and just ran over, but we got a nice like first boss here. You can kill this boss, but probably going to be a little bit tougher for for most people and I I doubt I'll kill him on my first try either. But generally you are kind of I wouldn't say expected to die to him, but I would I would wager the the vast majority of people probably die to him. Plus this kind of sucks like being slow on this boss kind of sucks. Like having a good roll is probably pretty nice for this boss. I think in my original playthrough I died to him and ended up kind of trying to redo it a couple times until I I did kill him. And you get you get sent to a nice little optional area, but eventually eventually you're forced to die anyway. Which kind of sucks, but can I heal? And that that wasn't that wasn't the best heal, was it? Man, that doesn't really give me a lot of health. But we'll we'll see if I can kill him. Maybe I can like chip away at him, but. I can at least I can at least give it a good try, you know. Attack his little nubby tail. I like how he like jiggles as you, as you like slice him up. He just jiggles a lot. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, that wasn't good at all. And I can like bait out a crappy attack and eat his grass. Oh, that was terrible. Don't do it. No. Well, I have no health. <laughs> what does this, like, Lotus Soldier's Lotus do? Is that, like, MP? It's probably MP. Yeah, that didn't heal me for, like, shit. Well, I can chow down on this grass, like, all day. Try to get some health back. Oh, come on, damn it. I got... All right, I'm struggling a little bit. Oh, I'm struggling a lot of it. Dang it. I wish I would have been able to kill him, but that sucks. I wanted I wanted to see the like next area after him, but generally you're probably gonna die to him. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Sorry, we get revived back anyway. A little bit worse for wear, but... This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. He just like passes out. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You have died, and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Well, that's great. However, by capturing demon souls, I couldn't read the rest of that because I started walking. So that's unfortunate. But we've got some stuff going on. A lot of messages. Time for talking. Oh, we can raid it fine and foul. The true Demon Souls starts here at the very beginning of the game. Mm, you new here? Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. 
Not a bad deal, eh? That's a pretty good deal. So we can repair equipment, upgrade, purchase some items. What's he got? He's got grass, spice, sharpening stones, couple weapons you can buy. Nice heater shield. Restricts health recovery. I'm not I don't think he sold all of these items, but maybe he did in the original game. My memory of the original game is not the best, so. If you haven't heard, there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stone Fang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul-starved men. If you do meet him, no, forget it. That stubborn old nearly will we'll just chase you off. So I'm sure we'll meet him later. The other blacksmith. There aren't enough smithing tools in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons. But you'll just have to make do. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. Oh, I'm thankful. Don't worry. And be thankful. Okay. I will be very thankful. So interesting. I can tell you're not going to last long here. Alright, well, I have 188 souls. I don't think that's going to be enough for much right now. We've also got Stockpile Thomas over here. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scuds came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Alright, so we'll probably be using this NPC for a good little bit. Uh, he has some stuff on him, I think, from the, like... Yeah, he's got, like, a bunch of stuff. Currently equipped items cannot be stored. Okay. I just want to, like, swap the storage. So, I guess you get some weapons. You get, like, a ritual blade and a reaper scythe. I'm not sure if all of this is from the, uh, the, like, deluxe edition or if some of this... I don't know why you would have anything anyway, but... We get some ore stones, I guess, to upgrade stuff. A couple weapons. There's a shield in here as well. Oh, we got a nice, like, red-eyed knight helmet. A bunch of other stuff. Some, like, royalty clothes and some other armor. Some nice gauntlets. A couple, couple armor sets in here. Probably one heavier one, maybe one lighter one. It's also a ring? What does this ring do? A legendary ring with an engraving of a flowing river increases max HP. Once given only to the bravest, bravest warriors, the ring would ensure their safe travels back home. I'm not exactly sure if I want to really use any of this stuff. Because it probably it will give me a nice like little boost in the beginning. Maybe I would use this for like... Some of this is like heavy. Yeah, there's like one heavy one and like one lighter one. So maybe, maybe I would use some of this stuff for like a different playthrough, but... I feel like people might be a little bit unhappy if I were to, to use this stuff on, like, a first playthrough. It might make it a little bit easier or a little bit too easy in the beginning. So I might just want to leave this stuff in here for now, and then I'll probably, like, mess around with it on other playthroughs where I'm just kind of messing around trying to casually get through stuff. What does all this stuff do? Fire resistance... Uh, consume to gain some soul. I guess you get a little soul boost in the beginning. Some other stuff. I might just leave this stuff alone for now. Best of luck to you. I think we can talk to him some more. He probably has some more to say. I would be happy to lighten your load. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more. But <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. My candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. She says very little, but 
has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Try, I'll try to help her out. If only something could be All done right. to help her. So I'm pretty sure you can... I'm pretty sure you can run into... Uh, his wife and daughter a little bit later on. I think there's like a little bit of a side quest here that we might run into and come back and do that stuff, but we'll do it later. Also, we have Beware of Beginners ahead. A lot of a lot of tutorial messages are over here. Pretty sure it talks about parrying and lacking stats, overburdened by equipment. So there's just like a ton of just kind of helpful tutorial messages in this little area. Uh, some of these apparently left by players. At least this one was left by a player. Uh, I guess all these other ones are just kind of dev messages left by them. To give you a little bit of help. So I guess if you want to learn a little bit about the game, you come to that little area and then you read 30 messages and then you try to remember it all. 